I'm actually in the 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 the, the mindset that Kanye is really waiting for Drake. I really think he's waiting for Drake right now. And he knew this is like rumblings I'm hearing that Drake wanted to put out his project in August. And Drake gonna either have to move his shit till September or whenever, you know, Drake usually announces it like a week or two weeks before, like, hey, my project is dropping then. I hear whenever he announces it, his project's dropping, Kanye's gonna be like, hey, Donda's coming the same day. That's what I'm hearing. And I dismissed this so much when I was hearing, I'm like, no way, no fucking way. No fucking way. That's what it is. Somebody say Drake is scared. I don't think Drake is scared. I don't even think Drake. So this is what I really think. And I think this is almost getting to second stream type of shit, right? Drake ain't scared. I think, yo, sometimes you could honestly feel you have the best. What Drake is good at is knowing what the public is going to go for. Him beating Meek in a battle wasn't about him rapping better than Meek. It was him knowing how to play the media, play the times, play the situations that would make him look superior to Meek. I feel that even if Drake has great music, great music, because Kanye is setting up a time and I do believe right now we're in the time of wanting to forgive Kanye for a lot of his past bullshit, whether Trump or whether, you know, some of the like shit that we may have felt was musical mistakes. That if he delivered, Drake could deliver a 10 out of 10 album. And if Kanye deliver a 9 out of 10, niggas will fuck with Kanye. Especially in a head to head. The thing with Kanye, Kanye is almost like me when it comes to like me with streaming when it comes to him with music. You've seen me at my best. You've seen me at my fucking worst. You've clowned me. You've discarded me. You've said I'm a bitch. You've said I'm this, I'm that, whatever, whatever. But truth be told, when you live your truth and you come out with some shit that acknowledges your truth and it's hot enough, people want to root for that person more than someone who's just still swag rapping. And I'm not saying Drake's still swag rapping, but Kanye has, has bore his soul. That nigga try to run for president or try to get some campaign shit and start crying over abortion because that was a topic when it came to him having one of his daughters. There are certain levels that, you know, hot music is hot music. And the only way for Drake to defeat, I believe, Kanye is if Kanye's music is whack. But if Kanye music is hot too, we know more meaning about it. It feels deeper. It feels realer. And that's the thing. If you're saying if Drake would be nervous. Yeah, if I'm Drake. Listen, me as a media personality, I could tell people want Kanye to have that moment of redemption. I can't remember who said it. They say, yo, they love you, then they hate you, and they love you again. Well, Kanye is on, they love you, then they hate you, then they love you, then they hate you again, then they hate you more, then they think they hate you, they'll never love you again, then you do some shit or you get in some positions in your life and they realize they could still love you. And when that moment comes that they could still love you, they'll love you more than they ever loved you before. That's Kanye. 
So if you ask me if Kanye and Drake, I feel like I'm giving up my second stream content for y'all, man. But still, drill get this. <laughs> if Kanye was supposed to drop in a week, I don't think he does over 300. If Drake was supposed to drop on a week, I don't think he does less than 700. Here's the thing. I think Kanye is trying to recreate what 50 Cent tried to create when 50 Cent went against him. Your sales becomes, it is juxtaposed with the person you're going against. So I don't think Ye could sell more than 400 if he drops by himself. If he realizes when Drake, say Drake makes the announcement, my album's coming out in two weeks, then Kanye says, minus two. You know what happens? Everybody is going to put those two albums against each other. They're going to put those two R's against each other. Kanye, who I just said, would never sell over 400,000. At that point, I couldn't imagine him selling less than half a million because people are going to compare and contrast. That's why when you ask most entertainers, you know what they said? Yo, I don't see no competition. I only see myself. I think I think Kanye's fishing for that. And I think he knows more than we know. And if you ask me, and I haven't asked Drake, Drake, this is just me. I think Drake had planned for his album to drop early August. And I think Kanye is fucking saying, Maybe next week. I'll be out. Maybe the week after. I'll be out. He ain't finna drop it. Till Drake announces. And by the way, this is what you gotta realize behind the scenes. If Drake pushes his out, remember, Drake says they're mixing the album. It don't take that long to mix the album, my brother. If Drake don't drop the album between now and September. Might be a conversation to say, was Drake dodging some shit? Was Drake trying to not be in the mix with some shit? Because if you ask me, that nigga Kanye West, he's dying to go head to head with Drake. Now, I'm going to give another. Why am I giving up my second stream shit, man? God damn it, man. Fuck you, niggas. Chat, we got to come back tonight. We got to come back tonight. Fuck all them features. Like, nobody cares about that when it, once the album's out. Because truth be told, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy had probably about 3,000 things that worked on it, but we don't care it was a masterpiece. Like, nobody, and I do think, I think that's one of Drake's resentments about Ye. When Ye makes great shit, nobody talks about the Ghost Riders. The moment Drake makes like something that could even be in a classic conversation, you know what they said? Who wrote it? I think it fucks with them. Oh shit! Oh, okay, okay, okay. yo, chat. I love y'all. Y'all keeping me on topic. Y'all keeping me good. All right. Anyway, so my Drake Kanye shit we gonna talk about tonight. We talking about tonight, chat. Okay, Shadi called me. <laughs> 